Hi, I'm Quinn Kesslering, a firefighter here at Redmond Fire Department. And I'm Sergi Manchik, also a firefighter here at Redmond Fire Department. Uh, I want to welcome you to Station 18's kitchen. And while I have you here, I want to take this opportunity to talk to you about fire prevention. As winter approaches, heating equipment is one of the leading causes of home fires. Space heaters are the type of equipment most often involved in these home heating equipment fires. So remember, have a three foot kid free zone around any open fires and space heaters. All heaters need space. Keep anything that can burn at least three feet away from the heating equipment. Remember, purchase and use only space heaters listed by a qualified testing laboratory. Have a qualified professional install your heating equipment and also have them maintain that heating equipment and chimneys um, by having them cleaned and inspected by a qualified professional at least once a year. Never plug a space heater into a power circuit. This will overload the circuit which can cause heat inside the power strip and can lead to a fire. In the event that a fire does happen in the middle of the night, have a fire escape plan uh, is critical to when your smoke detectors do go off in the household. On your plan, draw a map of each level of the home showing all doors and windows. Go to each room and point out the two exits that you can make uh, and make sure you ha have someone designated to help children, older adults, and people with disabilities wake up and get out. Teach children how to escape on their own in case you can't help them. And it's important to establish a meeting zone uh, outside and away from the home where everyone can meet after exiting. Have properly installed and maintained smoke alarms. Push the smoke alarm button to start the drill. Practice what you would do in case there is smoke. Get low and get out fast. Uh, practice using different ways out and close doors behind you as you leave. Go to your outdoor meeting place and then call 911 or an emergency number from a cell phone or a neighbor's phone.